to show what the national digital address is from a technical perspective. Here's how it looks like. It's a very simple app that you can download on all the app stores. So we have the iOS and the Android stores that you can download from. And the app is called the Ghana Post GPS app. What it does is it gives the address of where you are anytime. So the moment you get the app, you just tap get address and immediately it will give you the address of the exact location that you are. Wherever you are, it will give you. Now, in giving the address, one of the key things that we focused on was making the digital address locally relevant. It's all well and good giving you a bunch of numbers that don't mean anything. It was important that the final product that we delivered to Ghana worked for Ghanaians. Now, when you look at a typical address, that's what we have on the screens right now, you will see a typical address for Commander in the central region. The first character of the address starts with a C. This represents the region, which is central region. Now, Greater Accra gets a G, Ashanti region gets an A, Northern region gets an N, and so on and so forth. The next character in there represents the district that you are in. The K there is Commander. If you are in Accra Metro, you get an A. If you are in Tema, you get a T. In Kumase, you get a K, and so on and so forth. The next batch, which is really the most interesting part, is the area code that you have. The area code represents the area that you find yourself in. The center of every district is marked as area zero. Now in Ghana, of course, the center of Ghana, which happens also to be the center of Greater Accra, is the Flagstaff House. So the area zero in Ghana and in Accra is the Flagstaff House. Area one is 500 meters from the Flagstaff House. Area two is 500 meters from area one, and so on and so forth. So as you start to use this system, the more we get to use, the more we get to appreciate. And soon, what will happen is people will know their area codes by heart. And they'll be able to say, oh, I am in area 200, I'm in area 210, and so on and so forth. When you put all of it together, the region, the district, and your area code, we get what we are calling the postcode. So now, for sure, everybody in this country has a postcode. Regardless of where you are, you are within one of these spaces and it has been captured. The last four digits is your own unique address within that postcode zone. So this address here, 8859, reads like a normal street address. So really, really, I am in 8859 in area 001, which is in the Commander District in the Greater Accra region, sorry, in the Central region, of Ghana. Basically, this is the address structure that we have, and all addresses across the country have the same kind of format. Here are some examples of the addresses. We have selected some of the key landmarks across the country to show wherever you are, there is an address for you. For the Flagstaff House, we get the GA, the 000 that I talked about, and 0300. The most important item on this, really, for me, is that kiosk over there, the Loto kiosk. This is the Loto kiosk in Techiman. So we get the Bono Ahafo, we get the T, and we get an area that is very close to the center of the Techiman district, which happens to be the Techiman market. So we get somebody who has sighted his uh, Loto kiosk very close to where the action is happening. Really, really, this is Marketing 101. You should always be there. Now, we've shown the Larbanga Mosque as well to give the full uh, picture of how the addressing looks like. Now, of course, there are many uh, regions that have districts that go beyond 26. The moment your district goes beyond 26, we put numbers in. That is the reason you see the Larbanga in the West Gonja district getting an N5.
Once you've downloaded the app and you know where your district, or sorry, where your address is, you can decide to register your address. You can register your home address and you can register your office address. So there are just a few simple steps that you tap to say register address and then you go through the process to do the address registration. One of the most exciting things about this whole app that we built was the integration with the security services, the emergency services. What this site does is if you find yourself in any kind of trouble, you need the police, you need ambulance, or you need fire service, all you have to do is tap on the app and say, police, please help. And immediately, your location is sent to the police and they will dispatch somebody to come and help you. Same for fire. We've done the same thing for fire and the same thing for the ambulance service as well. So when you find yourself in any kind of trouble, the moment you have the Ghana Post GPS app, all you do is tap emergency and make the call to the emergency service. You don't need to talk. You don't need to do anything. It will go to them and immediately they will respond to you without having to turn left, turn right, cocoa cellar or any of those problems that we are used to having. Of course, you can save addresses as well. Now we know as this is a new system, it will take a while for people to get used to. But even these days, telephone numbers that we all know are phone numbers, it's almost impossible to remember anybody else's phone number because of address books. We have implemented an address book into this so that you can save addresses. So you save your neighbor's address, your friend's address, everybody's address. So what we are hoping will happen is this will become a part of the Ghanaian lexicon. When I meet you and I need to find you, find your office, all I have to say, oh, give me your digital address, and immediately you can find you. I can save it whenever I need to find you. I put it in, and immediately it takes me there. And of course, you can share the address. You can share your address through all the popular uh, mediums, WhatsApp, Facebook, SMS, any way that you want to share the address with somebody, you can share, and the people can also use. It is important that you get found when you want to be found. When I give you my address, you put it in the platform, what you do is you say navigate. And immediately, we have integrations with Google Map as well as OpenStreet Organization and many other mapping applications. Whichever one your favorite is, we don't want to force people to use any particular application, but whichever one your favorite is, you select that one and the platform will send you over to your navigation uh, provider and you will navigate to the place. Our preferred option, of course, is Google Maps. Thank you very much.